Toddy, may he's gonna hand him like a, a thing of rations, just knowing that that Lia had done this before. For him, so try something. <laughs> Are you trying to give him <laughs> treats? Yeah. <laughs>through the night 6 a.m. the next morning you start hearing pounding on the door out front like the upstairs door Lyo like shoot up in bed we're not expecting anyone are we we don't live here Lyo let's go check it out yeah yeah and I'll be like rubbing the sleep out of my eyes and like trudging up the stairs quietly oh come off it well, we don't know who it, she might have been expecting they? Oh, oh, that's true. And she'll just like pull out her dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy dagger. Uh... Orlo just shows up behind them with the with bone breaker ready. What are we doing? Someone's at the door. Our door. Well, door. I'm, I mean, it's it's not our door, but yeah. Oh, right, their door. They, they'll probably, ex um, just to be clear, I'm like talking quietly. Um, <laughs> they're probably expecting a female, so maybe I should call out who is it. They're expecting a female visitor? How do you know that? All um, three of you roll perception with disadvantage, please. Ten. Twelve. So Orlo, you would be the most likely to notice this. Um, which is oh, hold up. Is this is this based on sound? No, this is just um a a visual thing. Visual thing. Okay. Um, as you guys get upstairs, um, lights starting to just kind of like crest over through the the trees, and you can start to kind of see inside a little bit. It's still dark, but. Everything, at least upstairs, looks different. We had a goddamn dream again. It is all rotted and falling apart. The door is there, but it's kind of hanging on the hinge a lot more so. I don't remember sleeping this long. Do you, no, do you think without the witches that the house is just is just an illusion? Oh, that's a great thought. I fucking hate magic. Do illusions usually rot away like this? Well, I mean, like the, the cleanliness is like the illusion. I'm going to get the door. <laughs> yeah, who is it? Hello. Who's there? I, I, it, it, uh, um, my, my, my name. My, where, we're just gonna like slam open the door. She says, "Who's there?" <laughs> so, <laughs> if that's what you do, this man promptly shits himself. Literally. Just falls over backwards just a complete panic this guy um he's a larger man um very disheveled wearing almost no clothing covered in mud and shit and um uh, just like looks awful skelly's all in one step ahead of me uh Sorry, mate. It's it's early. Can I, can I help you up? And they'll reach down to pull this guy up. Orlo, is that <laughs> is that trash can? <laughs> How? Everyone's got him like halfway up and he's going to turn and look at you and then drop him and go, what? <laughs> and he's, he's uh, oh, oh my God, sir, are you, are, I'm so, are you all right? 
sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, I will actually help him out. I don't. Where, who the hell are we? Do you, oh man! Do you... I'm glad I didn't eat that pig. <laughs> Sir, um, do you recognize me at all? No. Should should I? Do you recall Emirates. anything from the last few days? No. I don't... What is... What is the last thing you recall? I... I, I was... I went home. And then... I went... I went to... I went to pick up a few things from... From... This this really nice traveling merchant that always would come around with all her potions and all her Granny May. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, mate. He's gonna hand him like a, a thing of rations, just knowing that, that Lia had done this before for him to say, try something. <laughs> Are you trying to give him <laughs> treats? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what he's doing. Um, I'm gonna pull out. Um... <laughs> but seriously, like, here, give the man a ration. He might be hungry. He absolutely takes it and eats it. He is hungry, but just the conceptualization behind it is top notch. <laughs> um, is that putting anything I, back? I have. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out some. I have traveler's clothes in my pack. Um. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, I don't know if these will fit you, but if they do, you're welcome to take these. Um, we might know most likely what happened to you. Oh, okay. And he just, like, plops himself down on, on like, the, the stairs. Uh, um, and he takes the, there's a cloak that's within this, and he just throws it over his shoulders and, like, kind of, like, wraps himself up. And he just starts picking at the food a little bit. All right. Well, you know, Granny May. Yeah. Well, you were her. She turned you into a pig, a giant pig. I, I was going better. to be a little bit more gentle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Emmer. I'm freaking out. It, it's it's all right. It was a pig. A giant pig. Um. What? And then I'm just gonna kind of like whisper to Emrin and and like, do you think that she made him eat the dead people? It, like not now. <laughs> now is what? not a good time for this discussion. <laughs> Great question. Bad timing. <laughs> uh, sir, what's your name? G Gad. Gad, what year was it? I, it's a weird question, I know. What year was it when you uh, saw Granny May for the first time, your last memory? And it just takes him a moment and he sits there. He's like, I, I, I'm having a hard time recalling, but I, I, I feel... I don't... I don't remember. It's been... It hasn't been that long. It, it's only been... And I will tell him what the current year is. Like It's currently... And he, like, sits there for a moment and lets that process. Um, also, it's 1377, for anybody wondering. I was wondering, thank you. And he's like, that... That was... It's been 20 years? Oh, me. <laughs> I, I have a question. Yeah, um, go ahead. For the last 20 years that, you know, you've been a pig. Um, first of all, outstanding. That's a long lifespan for a pig. I'm very impressed. Um, what would you say was your favorite food? Like, do you remember Waller, a favorite he food? Remember. Like, I'm just saying, like, in your your gut right now, like, are you craving anything? 
Because we might have it, is all I'm saying. But like deep down, just curious. Not, not. I, I'm, I'm, I don't remember much. I'm very, very fuzzy right now. No, like. Um, where, Orlo? That's that's enough. Tender, or fleshy. <laughs> Orlo. Like you really want to sink your teeth into something. Orlo. And I'll like kick his shin or whatever I can reach. <laughs> At me, look. So, I, I do you do you remember where you're from? Um, yeah i i, I grew up I, I grew up in. Uh, where, where are we? Where, I I grew up in Padstow. That's not far from here, is it? Um, you would probably not know where that is. Um, Emran. Um, it's a very small village to the southwest of here. Um, okay, you may uh, have seen it on a map, um, but it's it's down past Barisa. Um, so what direction are we from El Real? East, Pro. like southeast. Sorry. Where are you now from El Real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like right. south here. I'll just do this. Southeast. So I'll, I'll just I'll say that to him. Like, what about half a day southeast of El Real? That's. That's so far away. Why? Well, I don't get it. I don't. I'm so confused. I mean, it was a it was a little tactless, but she, the lady was right. You're a you're a pig, for twenty years. You were under the control of a witch. Now she's gone. Now they're gone. Now semantics. Since you don't really remember the last twenty years. In this village that you live in, would you consider your village full of more? Mm, like, do you eat a lot of meat there, or are you guys more Arlo. into like farming and agriculture? And you just kind of eat whatever comes through, anything and everything. I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> It's a legitimate yeah. question. Do you want me to roll an unarmed strike? <laughs> no, it's okay. You're standing close enough that you will absolutely hit him. Do you want me to roll damage? <laughs> Would you like to roll damage? Do you intend yes. to inflict damage? <laughs> if you, okay, if you intend to inflict damage, see if you get through his armor with a hit. 17. <laughs> Does that hit? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So flip a coin. Where? I'm going to roll a six. We'll say... Odds are one, evens are two. Six. So two. <laughs> or low. <laughs> you take two damage from Lyle. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone's going to go uh, smile and be like, you know what, it's not me for... You're going to look at Gad and be like, you know what, it's not me for once. So I'm all right with it. Anyway... <laughs> And I just like reflexively, <laughs> like swing my arm out, just like pure and, reflex. And I, go, I go flying across the room. <laughs> Gad is just sitting here watching all of this and is happy to be eating because he's starving and is just very is confused. He thinks he is. Uh, God, what is it? What is your town? I haven't heard of it. It's it's a few days south of southwest of Brisa. And how long would that be from here? Just a little over a week. A little over a week. That's you said not the kind of detour we can take. <laughs> you said the area was like rotted and de like decrepit now. Orlo scans the area for bones. There's a lot of them. Yeah, he grabs one and he's like, hey, uh, have Orlo. any? <laughs> she says from the other side of the room in a pile of rubble. <laughs> oh, did, did he actually fling me across the room? <laughs> you probably would have gotten knocked back a bit, but not quite that far. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
You uh, you have any interest in in this at all? Oh, I mean, no, stop it! I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take a, my rapier out and just like wrap him on the the wrist. Not like a not a full strike, just enough to make him drop the bone. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I'm gonna bad look. Can I can I like pull some of his berries out and be like, eat your berries and shut up? I'm sure that'll work. We whittle a spoon. <laughs> yeah, he uh, Orlo does just take the berries and, and start eating. Uh, Gab, I think our best bet here is going to be to take you to Eliel. Folks that are really helpful, that are going to help you out. Does that sound okay to you? And he just like he, he's just like stuffing his face with some bread. He's like, I, yeah, that's so. I just I what? A, there, yeah. there's an inn there, and you know, if you whenever you're ready to make the journey back home, um, there are shops. We'll get you. We'll make sure you have everything you need. Thank, thank you. So, um, yeah, whenever you're ready, we can. We can all gather our things and head back. And he just like picks up the like the the folded ration. It's like, but I I guess I don't have much. And he just kind of like makes a small like, <laughs> and then like just is like whenever you're ready. I f oh man, I feel for this guy. <laughs> what what's your name, sir? Gad. Oh, that's right. He told us that already. Sorry. Uh, well, I'm I'm Liar, and this is Emran, and this is Orlo. Pleasure to meet you, Trash. I mean, Gad. I just picture you like slowly holding a bone up, and then like Emeron just wants to get like rap. No. <laughs> I, I I appreciate um, uh, you answering the door number one, but um, for being so helpful, it's 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 great. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, let's take him back. I guess. <laughs> So you guys, you guys don't have anything to really pick up, I guess. I mean, I just want to make sure I have like my backpack and stuff. Yeah. Right. Um, the potion and yeah, stuff. stuff. Really quick, and then. And make sure that the mirror is is securely covered. The mirror is securely covered. Securely cover it. Firmly grasp it. It'll take you guys a little bit over two hours uh, to get back to town. Um, so about nine o'clock, you guys would roll in. To, to town everything seems relatively normal as you get here what would you like to do first well i think i'm for the inn i could use um a breakfast and honestly a drink and then we should probably go check in with Sorith. i have never heard a suggestion quite so eloquently put I could use some food. And then we can, you know, have Zrinka get Gad settled, make sure he is good. So you guys make your way to the inn. You guys think Zrinka's going to have something that he's going to want to eat? Orlo, leave it alone. I'm sure you'll find something. I guess they do eat anything, huh? <laughs> Are you in any position to be judging what another animal eats? Uh, e e yeah. It's, it's actually a really easy to judge. <laughs> <laughs> Does he not know? What do you, what do you think you are? <laughs> um, now is not the time for an existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the time for an existential crisis. <laughs> So as you guys make your way to the inn, as always, as soon as you walk through the door, you are immediately taken care of uh, expeditiously. Um, Zrinka gets everything for you guys, and as she brings stuff over, she notices that you have Gat with you. And she stops and she's like, she looks at you and looks at him. She's like, who, 
Who, who's this then? Um, Mizrenka, this this is Gad. Um, he's a new friend. He's gonna need some help for uh, probably a day or two. Um, I'll, we'll we'll talk we'll we'll talk later. She like pauses for a second and looks, and she's like nods, and she's like, "Oh, okay, dear. Um, I'll get him taken care of." And what whatever he needs, um, you can charge it to me. I'll take I'll take care of it. Then I lean over. <laughs> if he makes any weird food requests or anything, just go with it. Just trust me. Just go with it. Don't question it. These two won't like it if you do. <laughs> I'm going to take some mushrooms <laughs> from my plate and put them on Orlo's plate. <laughs> Orlo picks them up with his trunk and just throws them over just out of the way. We have a thing with mushrooms. He doesn't like like. mushrooms. Bye. They're gross. Uh, All right. (laughs) They're they're gross. I I don't know what. I mean, all right. So he'll reach over and take the mushrooms off your plate. (laughs) Hey, I don't like it. Most of me is fine. And I'm going to take a big swig from Zrinka's yummy drinks. Zrinka's yummy drinks. <laughs> now at Walmart. <laughs> so she gets you guys all settled. She takes care of him, gets him some food, gets him some proper clothes. And she sits down and <clears throat> she kind of like leans in. And she's like, we saw all the people you brought back. I, I, don't, I don't know how to, how to thank you enough. It's... Take care of Take care of God. It'll do it. We can make sure we do that, that's for sure. Actually. Orlo. Whatever you're about to say, <laughs> please just don't. <laughs> yeah, just just I, I reach out and just <laughs> with your trunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sat there and be like, uh, <laughs> so uh actually Zrinka, I was wondering, um I have some I want to kind of set up in my room some I, I I need some extra space and I was wondering if you could help accommodate that. I, I want to set up a place where I could you know get some potions together and things like that. I don't think the room is gonna work particularly well, but I do have a spot that uh, we could set you up in if that's something that interests you. You can show me that later, but while we were talking about, you know, I'm giving you a little, little give and take, I figured. Anyway, and I just go back to go back to Eden. Anyway. <laughs> so um, about about Gad, um, there's really not a good way to say this. Um, Gad was trash can. And she, like, pauses for a second and looks at you. And then, like, looks at the trash can in the corner. She's like, hey. What? And then it hits her. And she and just sits there for a minute. Uh... Yeah. That's about how we felt. How, how, lo- do, how, how long? He said 20 years. Oh. So I know. He's going to be want- wanting to go back home. It was um a little village about a week away, he said. Um, and he, like, in the middle of eating, is like, past show. Yeah, past it on. Past it on. <laughs> and she, like, looks at Orlo, like, side eye and she's like I I know the place um, we just want to make sure that whenever he's ready that he has whatever he needs to get back home 
we'll make sure it gets there safe to you. Um, do you happen to know uh, what what Sorth decided to do with um, those the three ladies? Oh, they're being taken care of. What what does it, that mean? <laughs> that means something very specific in my line of work. Can you clarify? <laughs> Less dead than your line of work. Excellent. <laughs> Did you want to see them, or because they might be occupied? It... Occupied how? I mean, something very specific in my line of work. <laughs> Can you please clarify? <laughs> Less enjoyable than your line of work. Wait. You won't be needing the slippery oil. Oh, no, I'm not. What, you, what, what do you think we do? Oh, I prefer it's best not to say. Are you sure you um, wouldn't want to find out? And he kind of winks at her. <laughs> she smacks you with like her little ladle that she carried. He chuckles. Um, Zrinka, actually, while we have you here, um, is there anything you can tell us about the celestial plane, by chance? Um, like what, per se? Um. Are there any known portals to perhaps get there? I, I, I don't rightfully know, dear. I, I don't... I don't find particularly much um, use for knowledge like that. Not, uh, not my line of work, huh? That's fair. Um, have you seen Ovram then? Uh, the last time I saw him, he was um, helping with the very nice ladies he brought back. Ah, perhaps I'll, I'll ask him when I see him then. Oh, well, I guess I should get back to work. Is there anything else you'll need? Uh, we'll take something to eat and uh, a little bit more of these tasty drinks I hear of. I knew that, dear. She gets up and Kind of waddles her way around and gets everything. Check about my offer! She comes back, <laughs> sets the drinks down, and looks at you and smacks you again with her spoon and walks away. <laughs> big swig, big laugh. I love that woman. Clearly. And he just smirks again and takes another big swig.